So I have this really big branch here that I want to put in there. Well, not the whole thing, I'm going to cut it, but I'm trying to see like what position to put it in there so that I know how much to cut. And this is really hard. Like I like a certain way and then I turn it and I like that even more and you guys. <laughs> See, I don't want to take away too much swimming room, but I mean, this is pretty thin anyway, so it wouldn't take much up. Ooh, that looks nice. What about that? Nah. Okay, so I think this is the one. I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and then I'm gonna boil this in parts. Ta-da! So now I'm going to boil this part. Yikes, that's not gonna be fun. And now I made a mess here. I'm gonna have to clean that up now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna give the tub a really good rinse because it came in contact with the dirty, not so sterile wood and you know, just to be safe. So yeah. Okay, so the wood is nice and secured in there. I'm just gonna let it dry and cure overnight. And tomorrow I'll add the finishing touches. And yeah, I don't wanna overdo it with this. I wanna keep it simple, but still nice looking. So yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. <laughs> So now I'm just washing some sand. I'm not gonna wash too much because I don't want like a thick layer of it. I really only want enough to cover the bottom of the tub. So yeah. So yeah, it's gonna take a few rinses to get the water clear enough. So yeah, I'll be back when I have enough of it done and to add it in the tub.
so here's all the leftover sand that I did use and that sucks you know I washed all this sand and I only used about half and yo not cool <laughs> you guys I'm finally done what do you guys think I'm actually just now realizing how big this tub is like at first it seemed really really tiny and oh hello there <laughs> it seemed really really tiny don't jump in there um so yeah I didn't realize it seemed really really tiny at first but now that I have it set up and I'm sitting like next to it like look my knees touch the rim and I'm sitting on a pretty tall chair so yeah um, but here it is I just finished adding the water and I added the air stone there from the air pump there and for filtration I'm using my ghetto filter <laughs> that used to be in my quarantine tub but you know my quarantine tub is no more because the Black Telescope has joined the other three Goldies. But yeah, there's the pump down there. Can't really see it. You can see the hose there, and that's the pump. The airline goes all the way to the bottom. So I like to put it next to the water pump because, you know, as bubbles rise to the surface, it creates suction behind them. And that really helps um, get filth up the water pump into the filter. Um, so yeah, I just added this plant. This part is fully submerged. And then as it comes up, it has air. Oh, and down there, <laughs> I just added like one snail, my big guy. He's living life right now. He has this whole tub to himself. Like, what up? By the way, I'm not using all the filter media that is usually on this because there's not really like a huge bio load. So, so I want to keep the beneficial bacteria in my filter media thriving. So I took it out and I placed it over here. This is what I use for my beneficial bacteria to colonize. Just lava rocks. It's kind of my go-to and it's very affordable um, and it works. So yeah. So I just have it here in the outtake of the filter in here. And since there's good water flow, it's supplying some good food to the bacteria in there and I'm keeping it nice and cycled. So I'm keeping them in here until the new goldies arrive then I will pass them back in here and yeah. By the way about a third of the water from here is water from the quarantine tub so that's why I don't have to fully cycle this whole system because I'm using an established filter with established media and I know there's not a whole lot in the water but I, I still use like aged water um, so yeah for anybody new hey guys so just a really quick update on the tub setup I had to move the tub and the other goldies setup that is just here under me but I'm gonna show you guys them right now but uh, I had to move them in here into this tiny tiny bathroom because the whole house is getting some work done there's some new floor that is being installed and I had to move them and the bathroom is the only place in the house that isn't getting anything done so I had to cram them in here and during the process of doing that the wood actually detached from the Tub, so it's just kind of floating now but I like it like that it gives the goldies more room in the bottom and they're kind of bottom dwellers anyways so I think it actually worked out for the better and yeah here it is I moved in here in the bathroom same setup 
just different location. And here's the other goldies under me, well next to me, under the sink. Here they are. This light would light up down there. You can see them right there. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, there's a couple more videos that I just filmed for now. So they will be out back to back, like one day after the other. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole setting up video. Um, here's the Goldies doing amazing. I am so in love with them. <laughs> I still love my other ones though. I haven't forgotten them. Just I'm really excited with these new guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. Bye!